Okay, this is a tutorial I thought I did a long time ago. Someone just asked me a question on it, and I went to find the video I made, and I could not find it. So either I didn't label it well, uh, or I just didn't do a tutorial on it when I thought I did. And it's uh, actually a program that I use uh, quite often, actually. Uh, it's called ET, or, yeah, XTE, uh, which, if you search your repositories, is not in there under that. It's actually part of another package called X automation. So if you just do sudo aptitude or apt-get depending on your uh, distro and install xautomation, it will install uh, xte. And what does xte do? Well, it allows you to send keys to the active to an active program as well as do mouse movements and key presses uh, rather than just strings. So uh, let's have a quick look at this. Um, first off, We'll type in XTE and then we'll do, we'll start off with mouse movements and hopefully this is, uh, will be visible on the screen here. Let me move down here and I'll put my cursor up here and I'll start typing XTE and then inside single quotes I'll type mouse move and then give it a string of coordinates. So I can say 15, 15. So we'll move it 15 pixels over and 15 pixels down. And when I hit enter, take note where my mouse cursor is right now. I'm moving it around. I'll sit there. I'll hit enter. Boom. And it's actually probably might be out of your recording area right now. Let's put that number up a little bit higher. We'll say 150, 150. And once again, take note of where my cursor is. I'll hit enter and it moves it right up there to right here. And uh, obviously, um, numbers don't have to be the same. I can do 50 and 150. And obviously, uh, 50, the, the first number is your left right movement and the second number is your movement. So that's moving the mouse. If you do XTE dash dash help, like uh, most programs, you get a quick little help file. And you can have a look here on some things. You can also do mouse clicking. You can do mouse down, mouse up. So you can actually have the mouse go down on something and then move to another position and mouse up. Uh, you also have uh, sleep in seconds and sleep in microseconds. Uh, that comes in handy when it comes to sending strings, which we're about to do. So let's type in XTE and then inside single quotes, we'll type string or STR for string and then the string we want to send. And I'll just say, hello world. And I'll hit enter, and right there, you can see that it typed hello world. Now it typed in our terminal here because we weren't in another application. Now, what we can do, now obviously you could go sleep three and then semicolon for the sleep command, but XT has its own built-in sleep command. And all we have to do is right before this, we'll put inside another set of single quotes, sleep, and we'll say three. So it will sleep for three seconds before sending that string. So I'll hit enter, click up here, and nothing happens. Um, what did I do wrong here? As far as I can tell, I did nothing wrong. Maybe there needs to be a space between these two. I'll click up here, and there we go. There has to be a space there. So it delayed three seconds, and then typed that out. Uh, so this is a very useful command. Um, Lots of times people consider send key, uh, which is uh, something that's done in Windows, which is basically the same thing, sloppy, but sometimes it's it's helpful and a quick, easy way to do something. So uh, that's one way to send keys. And you can also notice that um, we have, other than the string option, we have key, key down, key up. And the way these work is you type in that, and then here's a list of useful keys. So if you wanted to do a control alt delete or control alt backspace, you can send that too. Or you wanted to send tab, you can send tab. So let's give this a try. We'll just do key. So we'll run that same command with a three second delay, then send another set of single quotes here. And let's not forget the space right there. We'll type in key and tab. And it is case sensitive. So however it's written in here in the help file, it will be written like that. So in this case, capital T, lowercase a, b. We'll hit enter, click up here, and it should press tab. 
and then type that out. So it added a little tab space right there. Um, and obviously you can do that a few times. You can go key tab, key tab, if we type everything right, and I'm not. Let's not forget our single quotes where they're supposed to be. We'll hit enter, click up here, and it should put three tabs before typing that out. There we go. And of course we can do other characters like return. So if we wanted to do that, we can add that over here at the end. We can go key return, hit enter, click here. And you notice that it went down to the new line after typing that out. Um, and there's a lot of other features in here. Like I said, there's sleep, which went over you sleep, which is instead of uh, seconds, it's microseconds. Uh, you can do key uh, mouse up, mouse down, um, mouse move, uh, and then oh, and then mouse mouse or move, which is relative location. So instead of just putting coordinates, you can actually move a certain number of pixels in a certain direction. Uh, let's give that a try real quick. We'll go uh, X T E mouse or move. And then we'll say 15, 15. Well, that's not very far. Let's do 50, 50. And now, if you'll take note of where my cursor is, it's not going to jump up to about here where 50, 50 would be. It's going to move it 50 characters over and 50, or 50 pixels over and 50 pixels down. So let's hit enter. And there you go. So. It's fun, you can put that in a loop and make the cursor move all around the screen. But that is the XTE, which is part of the X automation package. Has a lot of options here. Um, play with it. And like I said, I, I thought I had done a tutorial on this a long time ago because even though it is a little bit of a sla sloppy way of doing some things, uh, sometimes it's a quick and easy way to do uh, accomplish a task. And I'll give you an example of... Um, what I use this for on almost a daily basis is um, when I upload my YouTube videos, I have this automatically type in a certain set of tags and description for the video um, and set the video to how to and then saves it all. And then I can go back and make small modifications like changing the post for it and adding a few other tags. But... Um, I couldn't do this with just a simple copy and paste because I have to fill in one uh, uh, text box and then tab to another text box and then tab down to a uh, drop down box, search through that to how to and then tab down to the save button. So I actually have a script that I just type in. Um, I actually, my command is paste bash for bash videos and it automatically fills all that in me and that for me and I go back and switch things out. So that is a a uh, simple little dirty way to send keys to other applications as well as mouse movements and uh, key presses. So thank you for watching and I hope that you visit the link in the description and I hope that you have a great day.